Say you have $80,000 to spend on a new car. Which one do you choose? A used Ferrari like mine, or a brand new luxury car like this 2014 Lexus LS460? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out in a series of unbiased texts. You might be wondering why I've chosen the 2014 Lexus LS460. Well, part of the reason is that Toyota is the only car company crazy enough to give me a press car. But the other reasons are, the Ferrari and the Lexus have about the same horsepower, and they cost about the same. But more importantly, this Lexus is freaking loaded. For example, you know how some cars have automatic climate control where you set a temperature and the car regulates it? Well, this one has automatic seats. You simply turn the dial to auto, and then the car decides what temperature your butt should be. The Lexus also has these really cool headlight washers. It even has one of those features where it'll stop itself. N no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Of course, the Ferrari doesn't have any modern convenience features, but there are some advantages. This is also way more practical. For example, I can basically lie down in the back seat, and if I get tired of sitting here and watching the road go by, I can press this little button and a mirror comes down so I can look at myself. Speaking of practicality, you can get way more in the Lexus's trunk than you can in the Ferraris. For example, no, I'm just kidding, but I could. No, the Ferrari's not as practical as the Lexus. You can't get in the back seat and lie down. You can't put packing peanuts in the trunk. But you can still do this. If you drive it right, the Lexus can get 24, 25 miles per gallon. The Ferrari it won't quite hit those numbers. Nine. I get nine miles per gallon. Not that I'm complaining. And we all know that the Lexus is more reliable than the Ferrari, which could, of course, catch fire at any moment. So in the end, which one wins? Lexus leads in terms of reliability, gas mileage, practicality, equipment, and convenience. Whereas the Ferrari is more fun, and that makes it a dead heat. But in the end, the Lexus is better. And that's because while the Ferrari is a 360, the Lexus is a 460. And that makes it 100 better. the worst burnout ever. <laughs>